Hi guys, Daz here with something a little bit different this evening. This is Cover Price's Top 10 Books of 2021. Basically, the books that have appeared the most in the weekly top 10. Yeah, a top 10 of the top 10, you could say. Great list of books I've got here for you guys. Let's find out how many you've got. I might do all right at this. Number 10 on our list is a book from 1992, and this is a book that appeared in my top 10 four times during 2021. And the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse teaser trailer suddenly turned this book into a modern must-have. Before the trailer, 2099 was a fan-favorite version of Spider-Man with deep nostalgia for those that grew up reading comics through the 90s. The first Spider-Man 2099 ongoing series isn't going anywhere soon. 10 on our list, Spider-Man 2099, issue number one. The first full appearance and origin of Spider-Man 2099 was, of course, Miguel O'Hara. Great book. I paid £2.75 for my copy in the middle of 2017. And basically, a local antique centre. Number two on our list is another book from Marvel and another one from 1992. And now, while a lot of the Marvel rumours regarding shows and films were accurate, a lot of them were off. And none more so when it came to this character. People speculated on characters like Mephisto, didn't appear. And they also speculated on a Mega Red, who was rumoured to appear in both The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision. But... Never materialised, guys. Collectors that were still buying into the book, number nine on our list is X-Men. Issue number four, a great book that has landed four times as well in the weekly top ten list. First appearance of Omega Red, Arkady Gregorovich, a Russian serial killer, captured and experimented on by the government. That is X-Men, issue four from 1992. Now, this book is still being picked up, but it has dropped awfully. I mean, at its high point, 9.8s were going for $500. Now they're currently averaging out at around about $180. Now, coverprice.com is a site online where you can log your collections. And um, this was a book that was number two on users' collections with a whopping 1,927 copies, so it was very popular. Number eight on our list, another book from Marvel and another one from 1992, guys. It's long been debated when it comes to Miguel O'Hara, what is his first appearance? Whether you like previews or not, CGC notates that this is the first appearance of Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099. Number eight on our list, guys is Amazing Spider-Man issue 365. Yeah, a preview appearance basically in an advertisement for Spider-Man 2099 issue number one. This book landed five times in the top 10 throughout 2021 and it is cover price's fifth most collected book in users collections with 1,812 copies, guys. Tell you what, guys, Marvel and 1992 seem to be the theme at the moment. And we've got another one coming in at number seven. And this issue features the first cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns via a future premonition. And throughout 2021, there were loose rumors and speculation that a Danny Ketch led Midnight Suns is in development for Disney Plus. And it's a book that has just turned up again in my weekly top 10 list with rumours around Norman Reedus potentially taking on the reins of Ghost Rider. Number seven on our list, guys, Ghost Rider, issue 28. Again, like I said, from 1992. First cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns, also known as the Nine, and that is Ghost Rider, who is uh, Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze, Morbius, the Living Vampire, Blade, Hannibal King, Frank Drake, Sam Buchanan, Victoria Montesi, and Louise Hastings. It's also the first appearance of the Caretaker, who appeared in the Ghost Rider movie alongside Nicolas Cage and in the Hellstrom TV show. The first appearance of the second Lilith, who was Kiss Kill Ilya. 
and the first appearance of Meat Market, the offspring of Lilith, as well as a really early appearance of the Night Stalkers team who appeared in the Blade Trinity movie. Time will tell whether Norman Reedus will be Ghost Rider. Yeah, I think I'm up for that. I've also been reading rumours that Nicolas Cage may be back for the Doctor Strange movie. Wow, that would be pretty cool. And Ben Affleck as Daredevil. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Number six in our list is a book from 1976, Marvel Again. Oh, by the way, that one, five times in the weekly top ten. This next book we've got is has appeared six times in the weekly top ten, guys. And it was a book that was fueled with the really anticipated The Eternals movie. And... I'm probably in the minority, it seems. I actually enjoyed it. Rotten Tomatoes made it the worst ever Marvel Cinematic Universe movie with 47%. Wow, for me, I think Captain Marvel's probably the worst, but that's just my opinion. Number six on our list when it comes to Eternals is the big book. Eternals, number one, guys. Yeah, great issue. I paid £14.95 for this. In early 2018, we got the first appearance of the, an origin, obviously, of the Eternals team. First appearance of Icarus from the movie. First appearance of the Deviants, again from the movie. First appearance of Brother Toe, Margaret Damien, Crow, Cataphrax, Dr. Damien, Vira. First mention of the Celestials. Now, their first appearance comes in the next issue, which I own, and that is Eternals number two. Yeah, it's hasn't done well at the box office which is disappointing because i thought it was a good film and i'd give it a good eight out of ten they had to flesh out their characters that was the problem the eternals aren't very well known are they okay well we're going to see a few more of them i think because uh obviously we got that post credit scene with eros turning up i think i'll watch it again it's just come to disney plus Okay, number five on our list, again from 1992, but this time not Marvel. What is left to say about Spawn, number one? For a mass-produced book, this one went crazy. It appeared six times throughout 2021 in the top ten. You know the book, guys. Simple as that. Spawn, number one. Yeah. First appearance of Spawn, it was Albert Francis L. Simmons. First appearance of Mel Boglia. Jason Wynn, Wanda Fitzgerald, Sam Burke, um, Twitch, who is Maximilian Stephen Percival, Williams III, Pin of a Pit in this issue, second title published by Image Comics, McFarlane cover, and uh, gorgeous artwork. Great issue. What more to say? There is another Spawn movie in the making. I have the original in my DVD collection on oh, my days. And of course, the, the, there is supposedly going to be a Sam and Twitch um netflix live action show as well down the line like i said it appeared six times on my top 10 throughout 2021 it seems to be one of the most popular characters still to this day and so much so that on cover prices uh collections um users had 2724 copies of that book making it the number one collected book number four on our list a recent book, and this is from 2016. Yeah, the Hawkeye Disney Plus show for me, hands down the best Disney Plus MCU show so far. Um, wasn't a big fan of Loki, WandaVision, so so. Falcon and Winter Soldier had some highlights, but yeah, the characterization of the growth of the characters throughout that show, you really want to Hawkeye, who was basically a secondary character. And, of course, one of those new characters coming into it was Kate Bishop. And uh, number four on our list, guys, is Hawkeye, number one. And that comes from 2016, her first solo series. Had a real jump up in uh, value and it landed in the top ten again six times. This book also has the first appearance of Ramon Watts, who later gains powers in West Coast Avengers issue 9 and becomes Alloy. But Kate Bishop is a massive character going forwards. Of course, we're at some point going to get the Young Avengers. I would love to have that book. I have the reprint. 
have passed on the first printing of Young Avengers 1 some time ago for £1 because it, it was beat beyond belief. But we're talking three or four years ago when there was no talk about it. I, just, I regret it to this day. Number three on our list, another book that was fueled because of the Disney Plus shows. And I just said, talked about The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Number three on our list from 2014 is Captain America, issue 25. Yeah, another cracking book, guys. The first appearance of Sam Wilson as Captain America. Of course, Sam Wilson will be Captain America in Captain America number four at the cinema, which is fantastic news. To be honest, I prefer him as Falcon, but he did a darn good job as um, Captain America. I'd love to see Steve Rogers uh, come back at some point, but a great book. I paid just four pound and nine pence for this in early 2021. Six times in the top 10. Two to go guys. And number two on our list is no surprise. From 2011, it's a huge book. Back in 2020, Miles Morales went from a fan favorite character to a modern day grail character. Huge book. Here we go, guys. Ultimate Fallout, issue number four. Massive book. The first appearance of Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider Man. I'm always going to say this as well. This is the issue where Reed Richards becomes the maker, a turning point where an evil Richards explains his new philosophy of the world to the children of tomorrow. And why I say that, I have read in a couple of rumors that that could be a future Fantastic Four storyline in the MCU. Of course, it is a character that was speculated to appear in Spider Man uh, No Way Home. Didn't happen. But he's just around the corner. Of course, we're getting into the Spider-Verse number two as well. Paid £13.90 for this copy. Um, that, that was actually the 8th of March, 2018. And to go with that, last year, I found it again in Bristol, believe it or not, for £1. My best ever stealth buy. So a couple of copies for me. I will list this one when we get some movie news regarding Mars Morales. Just a brilliant book and uh, crikey, how dear is it now? I guess fine copies I've seen go upwards of 300. So we're there. We're at number one on our list. And guys, I've got nine out of nine so far. Can I make it 10 out of 10? I cannot. Oh, that's really disappointing, isn't it? Oh, my days. Yeah, I was going so well. But it's all come crashing down just when I had the 100% on. By the way, All My Fallout 4 appeared seven times in the top 10 throughout 2021. So, on to number one on our list, guys. And it's a DC book. And I'm really surprised by this one. Well, James Tinian's scorching hot boom series, Something is Killing the Children, and Images, Department of Truth, created high anticipation for this DC horror release. And it actually made the top 10 throughout 2021 nine times, making it the number one book of Cover Price's best two of best of 2021's top 10. Number one on our list, Nice House on the Lake, issue number one, guys. That's it. That's a wrap. That is the top 10. And I had nine so close to the 10. Uh, I'd like to uh, shout out my good friend Bat Avenger as well. Throughout 167 weeks, he was the first guy to ever have 100%. And that was a, a, a last week, I think, 10 out of 10. So uh, thanks to everyone. I'll keep the content coming. There'll be the top 20 coming out very soon. Like and subscribe. Bye.